What's up, Ram Squad, and welcome back to the channel. So, for today, we have yet another Mortal Kombat 11 video. And for today's video, we have a new leak by a GameStop employee who seemingly confirmed Cyrex and Sector coming to the game. But before we get into any of that, be sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So, with that being said, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so this is I believe the second leak from GameStop, so I don't know how to feel about that. But we have a new leak from a GameStop employee who talks about a Cyrex and Sector promotional voucher, whatever that means, and about a future version of MK11 that's going to come out with both of them included. And I don't know, it gets crazy. But before we get to the leak, let's get to the comments of the day. So first up we have... Best thing about Netherrealm games is the leaked photos and information, and I love seeing theories about it from you and other YouTubers. Dude, me too man, I love talking about future content for the game, speculating, coming up with theories, it's all super fun for me, I mean if it wasn't I wouldn't be making videos about it every day. But thank you for your support man, I appreciate it. Next up we have, Ermac and Chameleon would be a good addition. I agree on Ermac, I think Chameleon could definitely could definitely be swapped out with someone a little better, even though Chameleon would definitely be cool to get regardless. And lastly we have, I think they should have a 3 pack of 8 characters, what do you think? Dude you realize you're asking for 24 characters right? 3 pack of 8 characters? Yeah that's never gonna happen, I think the most we've ever gotten when it comes to DLC characters might be in Justice 2, it was 10. Because we got three, three, uh, what was it called? Fighter pack. We got three fighter packs with three characters each, plus Darkseid as DLC. So we got 10 DLC. And I'm not sure, I'm don't quote me, but I think that's the most that we've gotten for any NRS game so far. But anyway guys, let's get to the leak. So go ahead and check that out. Now as you can see, it is quite a mouthful, but I'm going to go ahead and read it. So let's get to it. It starts off by saying, Hello 4chan, I am a GameStop employee but I will not disclose the location I work as believe it or not, I actually want to keep my job. Anyways, I'm a pretty big Mortal Kombat fan and played the hell out of Mortal Kombat 11. So you can imagine how pumped I was when we got our Cyrex and Sector promotional vouchers today. So let me give you the rundown of this because I don't think everyone is going to be happy with how it's going to work out. So everyone knows GameStop is in a lot of shit financially. So I guess WB or whoever runs stuff did a collab with GameStop. So when you, buy a when you buy a copy of Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath Collection Edition, you get a free code that unlocks Cyrex and Sector in-game as playable characters. Or at least that's what it says on the promotional instructions the employees got. We aren't able to generate any codes for Cyrex and Sector yet, so I couldn't try redeeming one of them. But yeah, I think it's pretty scummy of them to, look to lock two characters behind a $60 version of the game just so they can boost sales and make people buy MK11 a second time. We just got all this stuff today so not a lot of people really know about this, but I expect a lot of backlash to happen when this controversial decision gets officially announced. I predict that eventually you'll be able to purchase them separately, but as of now, this will be probably the only way to access them for a little bit. That's the rundown, I'm going to remain anonymous and I wonder what the general public's reaction to this will be. Okay, I'm going to be fully honest, if Cyrax and Sector are locked behind a $60 paywall of having to buy MK11 again, I will definitely buy it again and probably just do a giveaway or something, because I definitely want Cyrax and Sector since day one. But, I agree with him, it would be so scummy of GameStop to do that, it's like, yo, you want these two characters? Alright, you gotta buy the whole game again, it's like, yo, I just want the two characters, not the whole game. But apparently, that's what it's gonna happen, and honestly... Knowing GameStop, dude, they would so do that. Like, dude, GameStop, and, and no hate towards GameStop, because that's literally where I bought in all my games, but they are pretty scummy. Dude, for a brand new PS4, they offer like 17 bucks. Like, what is that, dude? I don't know. Now, I have seen this uh, leak on Twitter and a lot of people talking about it, even the thinny, and I think it might have been confirmed fake. I don't know. I don't know if it's just speculation that it's fake or what. But it definitely looks pretty real, like the guy looks like he's just being honest about his feelings and how he feels towards it. It could be fake, I don't know. But like I said, if it is real, I'm buying the game again just because I'm not going to wait a month or two to play Cyrex and Sector. I'm playing them day one. So let me know what you guys think about that. Do you think that leak is real? Do you think it's fake? Please let me know why or why not in the comment section down below. Other than that, be sure to stay subscribed for more videos just like this one. Thank you for watching and peace.